Okay, guys. Uh, good morning. Thank you for watching. This is Mrs. Black Gold. I appreciate you coming back to my channel. And just wanted to talk to you quickly uh, before we leave to go to our community food bank to drop off these items. I wanted to speak with you about um, how I've been watching somebody. Her name is not coming to mind for me right now, but she does these. She's doing this 40 days, like 40 items in 40 days. And she's kind of like cleaning out, you know, her uh, kitchen cabinets, her seasoning drawer, her purses. And so that inspired me along with the fact that it's just been on my heart and mind to take some things that we're not using to the food bank. Um, you know, I do these Dollar Tree hauls and then when I go to the grocery store, I haul some things that I find are good savings. And um, it needs to kind of get out the house some of the things I've been collecting. But I'm a giver. I'm a giver at heart. I like to give. It makes me feel good to give. And I've also benefited. I've um, definitely used the food bank in the past. Um, so I can say I've benefited from the food bank and I know how it helps others. So I would love, I wanted to um, and couldn't for a while get up there because it's on a Saturday. It's only on the first and third Saturday in my community. And um, I haven't had the opportunity to get up there because my oldest son is in Saturday school at his school. So he doesn't have it today and we're going to go. And I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about some of the things that I have in here because they're Dollar Tree items that I'm not going to get to try. And maybe you all have tried them. You'll be able to tell me what you think about them. Um, so leave me a comment. Let me know if you have tried it. Um, and not only that, but then I'm just going to speak on some of the other things I picked up in some of the other grocery stores that were savings. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, the Duncan Hines Key Lime Pie. We, this was a Dollar Tree purchase that we're not going to use. I've had it here for a moment, um, probably about a month. And I want to go ahead and just, you know, donate this. Uh, the Snyder's of Hanover Pretzel Poppers, the garlic and herb flavor is a Dollar Tree item as well that um, we haven't opened up yet, so I might as well let somebody else use that. Uh, the Good Table Parmesan and Herb, you posted, it's a sauce and crust mix for chicken. Um, we've had this for about three weeks probably, so I figured I can let somebody else have that. The Fiber One Cheesecake Bar and Key Lime, we did try that, and nobody really asked to open up the next box, so why not donate it instead of it sitting around here? And the Barilla Pronto Half Cut Spaghetti. Now this is something I know my household would use, but I ended up buying like six boxes of this because I had to use the coupon um, where I had to purchase four to get a dollar off. And I know somebody can benefit from two of those. Two, taking two of those away from us won't hurt us. Uh, I had bought this for my son to try and we never got around to opening up this Blastic Bold Habanero Lime Topper. So I'm gonna donate that. Uh, let's see. This tomato rotini I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and um, I have two cans of these, so we're gonna give up one. The Sugar Soap Works Lemon Soap. Um, I bought a couple boxes of these. I did open up one of the boxes. It's in my bathroom now, and it's not a very strong lemon scent. I would prefer it probably to be a bit stronger, so I figured I'd let somebody benefit from that. Now, this Glad, I didn't get from the Dollar Tree, but I actually purchased these from Family Dollar. I paid about 75 cents for these after the Christmas holiday season. This was the Glad Limited Edition, and you see it has Let It Snow on it. And I picked up, because they were 75 cents, maybe six of these, and I had, now I don't think I had a coupon, but um, I definitely know someone can benefit from a couple of those. These Garnier products I have here, I bought from the Giant Grocery Store. They were $1.99. These are regularly priced $8. And I also used coupons when I bought those. So I probably paid like 50 cents if I didn't get one of those for free. Um, the Reese's Lip Gloss. This was a Walmart after Christmas purchase. And this was when stuff was marked down 75% off. I only paid a quarter for this Reese's Lip Gloss. I paid 50 cents for this bag of Jolly Rancher candy um, from the Safeway Grocery Store because they had still had Valentine's candy left like two weeks ago when I went and it was 75% off the Valentine's candy and then an additional 50 cents off whatever that 75 cent price was. So I paid like 58 cents for that bag. 
This Diet Pepsi I've had downstairs, we don't drink diet soda, but when my son was doing his experiment, his uh, science experiment for school, we needed soda for that, and I've been holding on to that for a couple of, probably a month, month and a half. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, there's a lot of canned goods in here that I'm just not going to eat because, you know, a lot of canned goods are high in sodium. Um, we have so much peanut butter in the house. I could definitely give up some of that. And this was like another little item I found on the clearance. It was marked down to 60 cents. These are Cake Make Valentine Pearls. And I thought well, maybe me and the boys will do cupcakes and I'll don't and we'll have these. Maybe we could even use these for ice cream. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and donate these. If I haven't gotten around to using it since the whole, you know, Valentine's season, I might as well give it up. Maybe there's another family that likes using it. So I was able to try these the other day. Um, I bought two packs of these when I bought these. And um, they are okay. It already has 430 milligrams of sodium. And I thought it could be maybe flavored a little bit more to be an Indian cuisine. So I figured I'm probably not going to get around to eating it because it wasn't something that was just really good to me. So we'll donate that. And oh, this was a Dollar Tree purchase. I picked up this McCormick taco season from Dollar Tree. I've already opened up um, and used one, but I have so much powdered taco seasoning that we probably won't even get around to using that. <laughs> Somebody else could benefit from it. Um, so just to give you an idea of the stuff that I've kind of packed up, also trying to clear out my pantry, so that if I'm not using it, somebody else can. And maybe from seeing this video, you all can, will realize that you've got some stuff as well um, in your pantries that you haven't used in a while or in your hallway closets, whatever. Um, and get those together and donate them to a church or donate them to your local food bank. Because I definitely know this was a Rite Aid purchase when they had herbal essences on sale. And um, I also had a coupon, but I decided to donate that because I'm actually not going to use that shampoo in my hair. One moment I thought I was, but um, because of my locks, I now have learned that shampoos and conditioners like that also leave buildup in my hair. So, nevertheless, um, again, just hope that this may move you to also donate some of your goods that you are just holding on to and, um, you know, before they just expire on your shelves. Everyone... Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. But we will be coming back to you very soon today because my boys and I have to finish up March Dollar Tree Empties Part 3. Take care.